What up, friends? We are back talking more golf here at oddschecker.com slash US with my friend Joe Idoni at Tour Picks on Twitter. We're talking Live International Jetta. Is that how I pronounce? Yeah, I think you got that right. Nailed okay, it. Okay, yeah, they got to put on a show, right? This is where, like, all the bosses <laughs> are probably going to show up. So this is, I think, where uh, some of these guys might be interested in... Uh, impressing or maybe they'll be a little nervous because the people writing those checks <laughs> might be around joe but uh it's a course we're pretty familiar with as golf fans because we've bet a bunch of events here uh before i i actually hit that varner number here last year and i remember it being a short number then and people being like wow that's all you got was that a live bet i was like no that was pre-tourney kind of feels like they're sunk in that uh they know what's coming there again with harold but um dustin's dominated here before and no secret he's the high water mark on the uh well he is the top of the board and the high water mark for him using that odds checker grid comes in at five to one cam smith pulling up behind at 550 neiman nine to one anything in that uh 10 and under range that uh wet your whistle joe not really. I mean, you know, it, it's funny, like we've seen this course before, obviously, um, you know, they, they it's been in the DP World Tour slash Asian Tour rotation for four years. So finally, Jeff, we get a course that we can lean on a little bit of some some previous numbers on short coastal past Palom. It's only like 7000 yards, which is a stark contrast, certainly to what we saw last week at Stonehill and what we've become accustomed to with many of these live tour events with these long um, grueling sort of sort of test, not in terms of the scoring, but just in terms of the length. Nothing really up top for me, you know, outside of, you know, I talked about it a little bit last week, but I think Cam and DJ getting two of those wins really kind of helped to booster some of the odds ladder down the 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 odds board. It, and frankly, we've seen we've seen two guys like 50 to 60 to one win when you look at Schwartzel and Grace. We saw Stenson win at 100 to one. We saw Chikara just break through with victory at 200 to one. So there's been six events total and live thus far. Two guys over 100 to one have won those events. So uh, I, I feel like putting my dollars are better well spent a little bit further down the odds board than going with some of these top names in a 54 hole, uh, you know, event with, with Dustin DJ. I'm um, excuse me with Dustin Cam and, and Neiman up top. So full disclosure on my end, Joe live golf has not been a successful endeavor like at all. And if you know how I like to bet, Based on what you just said, that's sort of like Feinberg swinging and missing. Now, in the same way in which long shot betters or guys who like to play that over 50 to one number on the PGA Tour, they haven't hit anything. No, yeah. you know, Billy Horschel at the Memorial. I don't know anybody that made that bet. Congratulations. We saw Mac Hughes win a couple of weeks ago, but that field strength, that's kind of like, does that I'm not saying it doesn't count. If you bet Mac Hughes 100 to one, it counts. You won. Congratulations. I lost with Sepp in that playoff. Um, but things have been good to me on the PGA tour. So I can't complain. I don't know anything like I, I don't mean I don't know anything. Well, my wife would say that, but I can't get it right. And I love to bet that like 2040 to range regularly on the PGA tour. And that's sort of where I've been living and live. Um, and I haven't hit any like I've never played these super elites at the top and I've never played the long shots at the back. So I have not had a grasp on anything live golf related. Happy to keep talking it through. And truth be told, I don't know that I'm going to leave the range I like to bet in anyway. But let's go further down. Patrick Reed, really strong showing last week. Uh, you know, we know that he is a competitor. And I don't mind. I think he's a guy you can look at this week. Taylor Gooch coming in at 18 to 1. Those are the only two in the teens. And it's a really crowded 20. So I may as well just list them off, Joe. And I'm not going to lie, this is where the names I'm thinking of are coming from. Uh but, but, but Brooks at 20. I mean, he's been consistently decent. The ceiling could be there. I know you're a fan. Bryson, can we finally get off? Paul Casey, I really potentially might like. The next three names I might really like. Casey, answer Varner for all the reason you mentioned about how this course can play, despite seeing long shots winning. Uh, Louis at 22, sounds like he fits the bill. And we'll end that with Sergio. And correct me if I'm wrong, Joe, and then you can give your take on any of those players in the 20s. Is this not where Sergio defaced a bunker 
Yes. And like all, probably signed on for Live Golf that day, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm 98% sure this is where it was either here or Dubai, but I'm pretty sure it was here where he had his little tantrum meltdown greenside there. Yeah. So welcome back, Sergio. Welcome back. Uh, again, for me, I can't really uh, answer in Varner kind of real the, the short pass pass palum Varner. You know, I love this could be some good juju missing his one year old's birthday to be here. I don't mm. think they have a choice on live either, Joe. Yeah, but it's not somewhere where you're bringing the wife and kids on the plane either. <laughs> um, So, you know, Varner's bringing home a check. I know everyone gets paid, but you got a feeling he's going to bring home a good one. And he outdueled as an elite field that he outdueled here. So I've already said my piece there, but it's Varner and answer. I've seen as high as 25 to one with that enhanced bet 365 number where I think I might be leaning. Tell me what you think in these 20s. Yep. Um, we're kind of aligned here. I like Abe answer. I got a 25 to one on answer uh, yesterday. That number's still available on the odds checker grid over there. It looks like at bet 365 now um, just been trending. I think that this is a great course fit for him. Um, not only, you know, the, the distance not being so overwhelming at like 7,700 yards, which is more in his wheelhouse, uh, is more of an accuracy and iron player. But I think the past Palum too, like it's kind of where he grew up, you know, a lot of those coastal courses in Central America, uh, you know, are very familiar with this type of grass because of the, the salt water. It's, it's very unique that it can kind of withstand being right by the water there. Um, I think it can just be a good fit for him. And I think you're getting good value at 25 to one. The one I'm like, haven't pulled the trigger yet on Jeff, but I'm very like close is Reed. So I thought yeah. about Brooks. I thought about Bryson. I've been there. I was on Brooks last week, but the, but, but the, the bottom line is Reed is closer than both yeah. of those guys in all of these live events. He's got a bunch of seconds. He's seemingly competing near the top of the odds board every week. He's shooting the low round at almost every event week in and week out in 16 to one still feels low, but I think in perspective, he's probably, you know, I would say equivalent to Joaquin Neiman right now in, in win equity in terms of who I think is going to pull through and live. And he's just frankly shown more signs than the Bryson's and the Brooks and the Casey's and those other guys at 20. So that's the one I'm really close on, but I'm with you on Abe answer at 25 to one. All right, so let's uh, keep chugging along because I guess we're about to hit winner circle, according to at least uh, if it's not going to be DJ or Cam Smith based on the past. Uh, Charles Howell the third. That's just you know I don't care what plan at what point. Like, is there any planet continent this guy will ever win on again? Maybe if he does, I won't be a part of it. I'll just congratulate the people that do. Uh, Matthew Wolf. I don't know if there's a course fit there. You could stop me anywhere, Joe, because I don't really have a good care feeling about any of them. If I do, I will. Grace is injured. Westwood. I mean, we've seen in the past McDowell play well here and win here. Um, you know, you could see how this could be the type of course that would work for Westwood, but I'd probably rather take a shot again on, at like Heary at 45 to one potentially. And then we get into the 50s and it's, uh, Ortiz, Chikara back to back, Kokrak, Poulter, uh, Nod, Jones, Tringali. I don't care for any of them, but this is apparently a winner's row and live. So you got a thought? Yeah, I like Lahiri. So I think you yeah. kind of alluded to it, but you know, he's 50 to one. I feel like that's a great number on him. Um, in terms in terms of value, I feel like he's playing well. He made comments last week about how comfortable and, and at home he really feels with sort of this this Asian golf, like in this yep. general climate and area. He, it's very much um, normal to him where I think that it, it's not natural for a lot of these players in terms of, you know, the wake up call, the grass types, everything around, you know, surrounding the event. Even just the food, man. Yeah, man. Like, He's I don't know about you, Joe, but I'd be bringing like I'd have a, a a backpack full of Sour Patch Kids if I was one of these Americans headed over. And there like, are guys there are guys that handle uh, jet lag. Well, I'm sure these guys are all used to it, but I'm not one of them. I don't know if you ever been overseas. I'm but fragile, it, it, Joe. Trust me, I'm a yeah. delicate flower. I do not travel well. Now, oh, I don't man, travel in the style of the live planes, but but still, yeah, that's uh, that's an out. For me, and and listen, like Yuri was really popular last week. The number crashed. Uh, mm -hmm. I ended up betting on him. 
but we could make the case that this is an exponentially better course fit. Yes. And that really long one, we tried to maybe squeeze that juice, that comfort angle of Lahiri. I think I just got to go back. Uh, you've kind of uh, fully swayed me that I will go back to Lahiri. Let's do it. Uh, now we're getting into monster territory. Chikara, I mean, you could argue in some ways, you know, we've kind of been waiting for it. I don't want to go down this road, but I guess there's a platform I have, so I will say it. It is so polarizing in some ways and unfortunate to see the nothing burger that was made of his win. Yeah. Al, in the same way, I feel like it would have been celebrated the same way we enjoyed like Tom Kim's first win. Sure. Had it been, you know, somewhere else. And we all believe that that talent is there that Shakara can win on any tour. I'm about to get us out of here, Joe, but I'll let you talk about anyone else in this field that you want, but I will not be betting on them. Here's one that I think, Jeff, may be worth 10 or 20 bucks. It's kind of a fun one. Phil Mickelson. No, nope, but sell sell the people. He's playing better. Back-to-back top 20s. He's talked about how his game is in a much better place. He plays really well. He's, he's got great course history here. Um, going back to finishing third a couple of years ago when Graham McDowell won. Uh, it, Past Palum Phil, man. He did it at Kiowa. He likes okay. these coastal tracks. People have said that this place, I've heard a lot of course comps to a place like Pebble Beach to this, where he's had a lot of success. These short courses on the water require some creativity. It's just kind of his thing, and he's shown glimpses of form. Look, when Phil starts like actively talking about how he's feeling much better about his game, he's usually ahead of us. You're thinking that he's there, so he'll usually okay. give you the first signs because yeah. his ego is so big. When he starts feeling the mojo going a little bit, he wants to tell everyone about it. He's been there. He's eighty to one. I mean, shit, man. We've seen Schwartzel. We see. We saw Stenson turn back the clock. We saw the twenty-two-year-old Chikara out of nowhere, like. I'm not going to say that it's impossible for him to win a a 48 man field. I do agree in the sense that like Phil, because he's so prideful, like he will not talk about feeling good. If he's not like, if he's in a bad place with this game, he will not want to put any attention on it. He will like almost it's impossible because he's so world renowned and famous, um, you know, and one of the faces of this thing. Uh, But you're right. Like he would not spotlight any good vibes. And I'm, I do believe in what you're saying. Uh, the win possible, I guess. I just feel like I'm going to burn so much money in that 20, those two guys, those yeah. couple guys in the 20s, and then uh, find the best number I can on Lahiri, which appears to be uh, 45 to one on bet 365. But if you shop for their enhanced number, I bet you, you could flirt with that 50 joe was mentioning so for me joe uh it's looking like a- answer varner lahiri are who i'm thinking of i could potentially swap varner for a casey maybe a reed because i very much like you woke up last sunday thinking next week i want to bet patrick reed and live and yep. the 18 to ones available seem pretty fair for a guy definitely do and ready. Yeah, absolutely. So my guys are that I have in right now are answer at 25 Lahiri at 50, a little bit on Phil at 80, just for fun. And, and I I'm there. I think I'm, I'm as soon as we get off here, I think I'm going to go ahead and make that read wager because I feel pretty confident in it. Mm-hmm. Um, last really full on single event of the live year. I think that he's probably cumulatively been one of the better top three players on the tour this year through the first seven events. We got the team event coming up here that we're going to cover in a couple of weeks in Miami. And then this thing wraps up in, in like this thing could like the, the, the way that live comes back next year could be totally different than the yeah. format that we're seeing right now. I'll give them credit. They're, they're willing to adapt. They're going to take criticism for it, but they're, they're adapting to the best fit of their players. And, and it's an experiment and they're changing to sort of um, morph into what this will eventually be in two to three years, which is probably going to be a look a lot different than what we're going to see this yeah. week in, in Jetta. 100 percent and as much as there's some low hanging fruit jokes that are easy to make and sometimes just too irresistible that i can't help but take part in um 
to see where they are today the 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 higher end members of those fields um and just know that when we were at Riviera and the Masters people were saying this thing was dead before it started sure. you know like when the Phil controversy first broke and people thought yeah. this thing would never get off the ground here we are at the end of year one like from that moment there to where we are now if you want to call balls and strikes fairly you got to say that's a that's a that's a win like that is a win and you have to assume everything will improve from the silly looking logos you know they'll get a better graphic designer <laughs> to how the formats work in the tournament i think there'll be steps along the way and we'll be here to break that sucker down in Doral, which all of us PGA fans, I miss that place, man. Yeah. I miss that monster. Uh, Patrick Reed, that form heading into Doral. If he wins this one, he might be joining Neiman under 10 to one there, Joe, because he's a past champion at Doral. It's almost where he was. Hello world, Mr. Reed. Uh, yeah, buddy. All right. We've been here long enough. Smash that like button. It shows your support to Joe, myself and odds checker. And check out oddschecker.com. Baseball playoffs, football's here. Hockey starting, basketball starting. It's got you all covered. Get yourself the best number on whatever bets you want to make over at oddschecker.com slash US. For Joe, I'm Jeff. We out.